It's good. It's great. Yeah. That thing's a lot heavier than I remember. Well, you're just gonna have to learn, Clark, to pace yourself. You're, uh, you're only human now, remember? Martha! Ah, the joys of manual labor. <laughs> it's not so bad. I kind of like being sore. Makes me feel like I actually accomplished something. No pain, no gain, right? Ah. <laughs> yeah, well, being a mere mortal does have its drawbacks. Are you all right? Yeah, ow. Are you sure this is what you really want? It's what I've always wanted. I was talking about you, Clark, not your feelings for Lana. I mean, one day I find out my best friend's an alien. And then the next day, presto change -o. He's just your average Kansas farm boy. Excuse me if I'm finding this a little hard to accept. Well, you're gonna have to just get used to it. This is who I am now. Clark, with all that you are able to do, I just can't help but thinking that your destiny is more than just milking cows and raising barns. Destiny is another word for not having a choice. Okay, what about Alien, Ken, and Barbie? They tore apart Smallville looking for you. They were looking for kell -El. They're gone, and so is he. Just let it go, boy. The second meteor shower hit Smallville. Like the first when we were kids wasn't bad enough. Maybe this time it's different. Maybe it's not the end of something, the beginning. A second chance. Clark, there are so many things that I haven't told you. Things that I've done. Whatever we've both done, it's in the past now. The past can't hurt us anymore. No more crystals, <laughs> or spaceships, nor meteor showers. That sounds good to me. That was the best night's sleep I've had in weeks. Thanks for listening this morning. It's just about 6.30 on a sunny morning. Oh, God. Oh, my God. How did we fall asleep? I told you we should have gone to the town. Jeez, but... Ow, ow! Shh, shh, shh. Ow, that hurts so much. All right, look. Okay, look, my dad's not going to be up for about 15 minutes, and we got to get out of here. Well, you, you got to get out of here. You sure? Because sticking around for breakfast sounds like fun. What? Pass me my ship. We won't fall asleep, I promise. What else are we gonna do at two o'clock in the morning? Yeah, look, you're not mad, are you? I'm furious. Come on. Hey, Clark. What the... Uh... Mr. and Mrs. Kent. I can explain. Hold it. Is that the best you got? Had another six inches out here. I wasn't sure how rusty your reflexes had gotten. Senator Jennings! I know it's been a long time, but what happened to Uncle Jack? 
Doesn't seem fit for someone who's on a first name basis with the governor. <laughs> I don't seem to remember the governor winning a state football championship. Congratulations. Thanks. I don't suppose anybody pushed you to follow in his footsteps. Hey, you know, that's a lot better than spending the football games underneath the bleachers with the sheriff's daughters. Not both of them at once. I don't remember this place ever being here. How'd you find it? It was left here for me. For you. <sighs> Rehearsed this like a thousand times. Lana, what I'm about to show you may change the way you feel about me. Clark, whatever it is, it's okay. You asked me if I believed in life in other planets, you had no idea how ironic that question was. I'm from a planet called Krypton. You're just like everyone else. First time you've done that, is it? How many times have you been there when I didn't know it, saving me? Doesn't matter, Lana. I couldn't let anything happen to you. And no one knew. There were so many days I wanted to tell you. What makes today any different? I want you to know who I really am. I'd see at the party. I know. Um, but then there'd be all those people. Do I look different to you now? Clark, you look like the same handsome guy I've always known. Handsome as in I want to spend the rest of my life with you, or handsome as I'm going to let you down easy? As in, yes, Clark. I'll marry you.
Hello, son. I can't believe it's you. You don't belong here, Clark. You have to go back. Dad. You don't know how hard it's been. All I've done is hurt everyone that's close to me. It's not true, son. You died because of me. When Jarrell brought me back to life and restored my powers, he told me there'd be a price. The life of someone I love. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm so sorry, Clark. Believe me, you have nothing to be sorry about. I lived a, a full, wonderful life. I had everything that a husband or a, a father could ever possibly dream of. I am so very proud that I died protecting you. Protecting me from what? Lionel Luther Clark. He knows your secret. He knows everything. You can't stay here, son. You've got to keep your mother safe. You've got to keep the whole world safe. No, Dad. Clark, not without you. Dad, I need you. I cannot do this without you. Yes, you can. This is your destiny, son. You are going to touch the lives of so many people. Not just as a man, but as a, as a symbol. You're a symbol of peace. You're a symbol of justice. And now it's time for you to go. No, no. I'll always be with you, son. Clark. Always. Clark, please. Clark. Did you ever meet your real dad? Sort of. And is he bad like mine? Maybe worse. But just because he gave me life doesn't mean I'm anything like him. See, the thing is, Maddie, anyone can be a father. But it takes someone very special to be a dad. I wish you could have met the man who raised me. He was my real dad. He would have liked you a lot. Clark, could I stay here with you? Maddie, you have a grandmother. She's very excited for you to come live with her. I don't know her. I know you. Well, Maddie, you just, you're gonna have to give it time to get to know her. And... Maddie. Maddie, listen. Maddie, I would never let you go with anyone who's not gonna accept you for who you really are, okay? I promise. Make sure, okay? Go ahead, Maddie. There's nothing to be scared about. Yes, there is. You want me with me. I'll have no one to talk to. That's not true. Maddie, your grandmother can't wait to talk to you. She wants to hear every word you have to say. about my powers. What if I can't control them? But you can, Maddie. I've seen you. Just like you did in the barn, remember? But I'll tell you what, if you ever feel like you're gonna lose control, all you have to do is pick up the phone. You call me, I'll be right there to talk you through it, okay? I already miss you, Clark. I miss you too. 
grandmother's waiting for you. She's going to take good care of you. I almost forgot. world-famous rum cake for you, from scratch. Wow, I, I never would have guessed. You should have seen the first two. Oh, come on, presents for cake. Come on, birthday boy. Yeah. Open it. Wow. Not that you're the dear diary type, but since you keep everything to yourself, I... I thought it might help. And since I'm on an intern budget, I figured uh, I could just comp you a couple of those IOUs that you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's Dad's handwriting. I found it in his desk. Two tickets to the Wolverines game in Milwaukee. We're behind home plate. Yeah, your dad and his baseball. There was no one in the world he'd, he'd rather watch a game with. 